Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Going Medieval. I am, of course, your old Papa Cheddar, and we're going to be doing a bit of a tutorial playthrough on this here game. It just recently came out. As you guys can see, it is still in early access, so there's still a good amount of work to be done to it, but they've got a, enough of a base game going down to where you could still enjoy yourself, have a good time, and get some solid hours out of it building your, uh, your medieval area. So like I said, we will be doing a little bit of uh, tips and tricks going throughout this playthrough, so that way you guys can kind of learn with me as we go together through this new world. And uh, with that said, let's go ahead and start a new game. So of course you get the three modes here. We're going to be doing the standard. Uh, survival is hardcore, peaceful is self-explanatory, and we'll be doing difficulty normal. You do have a varying range of them though, so let's hop through. And then you do have a couple of other starting conditions. New life, you get three uh, three villagers, I believe, with a little bit of, little bit of uh, uh, what's it, you know, some resources here. Lone wolf, you just get one cat, I believe. Yeah, one cell right here. It's more uh, tougherer. And then starting new, you can kind of customize if I wanted. 90 settlers, well, bam, you can do that. That'd be a little much, though. So we're going to do new life because that'll be the standard uh, playthrough going through for this. As you can see, I already made a nice heraldry here. You guys can go ahead and make your own or get a randomized one. And settlement name, well, we got to do something juicy. So what should we do here? Chidaria, of course, the great land, the beautiful, beautiful area. You got the three map types. So the valley will give you more uh, like better farming, stuff like that. It's a little easier to build more flat, open ground. Uh, less resources, though. You can see like descriptions here, less amounts of gold, silver, iron, and salt. Hillside is kind of the in-between, and then mountain has uh, more, more minerals like the iron, the gold. You will, however, have less vegetation, soil, or fertile soil, and clay, rather. So we're going to do a nice middle, middle ground on the hillside here with the default map size. And let's go ahead and make a solid seed. And of course, there's only one choice, which is 8675309. Of course, of course, that is all. That is the only thing we could possibly choose. And we got to select hillside again. Marvelous. I, I really want to build into some... Uh, into some hillsides, I guess. Anywho, so we'll come over here to our settlers and you can see them with a mix of stats and uh, a couple of these cats don't look really too good. The only thing I'm really on the lookout for right now is this right here is marksman. So, you know, it shouldn't be the only thing, but marksman in this game is extremely ridiculous. So this gal's stats suck. Tailoring, that don't matter. Let's go ahead, randomize it. Uh, I'll let you know when I find a good solid cat. Oh god, look at this. When do we, when do we, we, look at that. 21 marksmen. Oh my gosh. So the reason I want marksmen, like I said, bows are extremely overpowered. You will start the game with two bows, a short bow and a long bow. The long bow you need marksman level 10 for, and the short bow you need any level marksman. So she's kind of cruddy in all the other areas, but you know what? Well, uh, she's at least a good marksman, and then you can come down here and see the perks as well. So she has more animal handling, which is, well, it's just three but eventually she might become a good hunter. I don't know. We'll see. Let's look at these other guys. And these stars by their names mean that they are passionate about it, which means they will get more uh, more faster XP. This guy kind of sucks too. So I would like a construction and a botany guy right out the jump as well now that we got our archer. All right, so we're just going to go with these guys. I did replace that one gal with this dude because he has animal handling and a high marksman, which means he's going to be a really good hunter. Uh, this gal right here, she has some solid carpentry and she's very passionate about smithing. And this dude right here is just kind of a, he's got decent botany, good mining, all right, melee. So, and I'm tired of clicking randomize. So, you know, you can micro this to your heart's content. You can rename them if you want to. And, uh, you know, or just do, uh, you know, take the cards that you're dealt. Another thing you got to pay attention to is their religious alignment. So you will be able to build shrines. So as you can see, we have cats on either end of the spectrum. We have restitutionist zealots. And we have uh, Oak Brethren Zealot. So, you know, there's not really too many uh, downsides to that, if any, other than you really need to make two different churches, which it's not really a terrible thing. All right, let's uh, let's get going there. I'm not going to show tutorial tips and we're going to embark. All right, here we go. So first thing, once we load in, I'm going to go ahead and just pause this and take a little look at our surrounding. And oh, look at this hill right here. Oh, yeah, we can build a sweet little mountain base. Oh, girl, I love that right there. So a couple of things you want to look out for. So we got our berries, some mushrooms right down here as well. We don't really want to be building on top of those. And also, if you see any red uh, red areas on the ground, what we can do is lower the uh, lower the height of the view. So I'm holding control and lowering the mouse wheel. You can see we're kind of bringing the trees down a little bit with us. Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. 
All right, so yeah, stuff like this, this is limestone right here. And then also the reddish one, it would be the iron deposit. So I don't really want to build on top of those if you can help it, uh, cause you'll probably want to be mining them. Um, and then I, I guess if you're in the, uh, the mountainside, then you're not going to want to build on top of fertile soil cause that'll be in short supply. So it is kind of be uh, somewhat strategic about it and whatnot as we're going through here. I think this hill is going to be a stinking great place to build our first base. And it's right by our little stockpile right here. That's going to be beautiful. It's going to be glorious. All right. So a couple of things we got to do first off here is uh, set their job so we can set them on different priorities to one being a high priority and three. The main thing I recommend is for convalesce, set that to one for everybody because that means when they're wounded, they'll prioritize healing themselves. All right. So now we've gone through, we've set ourselves the ones and threes and fours and everything else of that nature. So just kind of play it to your guys. Uh, you can fine tune it as you go along throughout the game to kind of make sure you figure it out a little bit better and then schedule here this tells uh, your guys when you can uh, you want them to work you want them to do anything you want them to leisure do uh, you know play around focus on themselves and their deep inner beings and then sleep as well so really these cats they don't necessarily need anything more than uh, uh, what's it six hours of sleep that should be fine um, if they end up, you see they're getting a little too exhausted, then of course you can kind of adapt as you go. What I like to do is give them an hour to do anything in the morning to kind of eat breakfast, go pray, uh, you know, floss their teeth, drop, uh, take care of some lavatory needs and the like such as that. Then at noon, give them a little bit of a break again, and then two hours throughout the, at the end of the night, do whatever they want. You know, sometimes you can do the leisure like at the end of the day or anywhere throughout here, but I found when you do anything, sometimes they keep working, which is pretty dang good. And we we can go ahead and copy that and then paste it to our other guys you know, and down the line when you get like 10 or even, heck even 20 people you can kind of rotate their sleeping schedule to make sure you have always somebody constantly working for right now we're not going to do that though because we just got the three cats so let's uh keep it rocking there and then the manage so this is where you're going to equip them with their gear so i normally just go through all headgear all apparel all armor and of course, once you find, you can kind of fine tune this a little better. Right now you can see they all have winter clothes. So come summertime, if you want to swap them to summer clothes, which I would recommend, it gets hot, uh, swap to summer, then winter comes, go to winter again, and you can pick which wet weapons they uh, they need to use. So we got two marksmen here, which is great. So old Gregory here, we're gonna make sure that he gets this sturdy longbow. See, it says right here, marksman skill required 10. So actually we gotta tell them that they can, in fact, pick these all up right there. There we go, gave him permission. And sweet Gregory, equip that longbow. And then our other cat here was old Lolita. She's gonna come down here and get this short bow, equip good short bow, and then Galfried here. I think he had a decent melee skill. Yep, he sure did. I'm gonna go get ahead and give him the sword and board, uh, one-handed weapons there and everything of that nature. And I'll let them just kind of fight amongst themselves for the, uh, the uh, 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 you know, the rest of the stuff, all the good stuff. So we already gave them permission to grab all those things, but we're going to just kind of do that. As you can guys, you guys can see, they're picking them up now. Looks like Lota got the armor right at the jump. Atta boy, girl, there you go. And uh, in order to store resources. So we can rectify that by making ourselves a default stockpile. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make it on top of where it is, currently resides right here. Now I would normally say you want to make uh, like a, you you will run out of stockpile room. That's that's a for sure thing, you know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's shoot, stockpiles are gonna be the one thing that you have too much of, if anything. <laughs> but uh, for now, this will work. And one thing to keep in mind that you might wanna do is just uh, as soon as you can, build a floor on the bottom uh, or on the bottom, build a floor underneath of the uh, uh, stockpile because that's going to be super important to help you reduce uh, spoilage times and stuff like that. So we got to start out by getting some wood. So we'll come here and just start chopping down some trees for our cats. Because that's, uh, that's going to be a good thing we got to get going on. And you can see top right corner, we do have our supplies list. I'm also going to tell them that it's okay to pick up some food because we will definitely be needing that as well. Now, one thing you kind of want to be careful of is uh, not telling them to do too much too quick. Hey, a wolf, that's good. I mean, hopefully it just kind of stays down there in the wolven pit so we can make this like an arena. Just fill these little holes with wolves. 
maybe some chickens, some tack chickens or something. I don't know. But uh, anywho, yeah, so you don't want to like tell them to harvest all this grass, you know, grass everywhere, all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, then you just run out of stockpile room and such like that. Another thing too we're going to have to do with this uh, storage zone is put a roof on it because things do have hit points, certain things more than others, like your stones, your clays, your ores, things like that. It can be stored outside, no problem, but wood, hay, definitely food, uh, you know, all your weapons and uh, gear, stuff like that. Those are going to need to be uh, stored inside and the food down in a cellar, but we'll get onto that here a little bit later. So we do have a good amount of wood. So I think it's high time we build our first little little house and it's not going to be anything crazy. I do, like I said, want to build a nice, beautiful base up in that glorious mountain. But for now, we just kind of need a little sleeping spot for these guys. So we're going to do nothing fancy and we can always tear this down. Uh, there's down at a later date. So this is going to be a shared bedroom and uh, we're just going to do a little, little nice, happy little cottage right here. Oh, yes, glorious. There we go. And we're going to want to put a little roof on that. Let's see how many. Oh, we don't really have any any sticks. Yeah, da, da, da. And there we go. So as you guys can see, the roof does need to be connected at two points on either end of it there. So right here, all that red. That Oh, uh oh, uh oh, buttons. That's not going to work. So we got to have two points. Now you can kind of get crazier with roofs as we start unlocking things. But yeah, it's going to be a nice little uh, little base for for you know, the time being, as it were. I'm gonna go ahead and just smack down a couple of these sleeping beds. You can rotate these, you can rotate everything with the R button and, uh, you know, kind of snug it into your own your own little, little way that you want to do things. Oh, glorious. Also too, with the stockpile, you can come in here and select what you do and don't want to uh, be held in here. So if I don't want human carcasses, I can just uncheck that box. You know what, we're gonna store them there anyway too, because that's the kind of cats we are. Okay, I'll just kind of go ahead and speed up the construction here and uh, get things rocking. Hey, bud, what are you doing? You better you better get out of these waters. Oh, hey. I don't like how close this wolf keeps coming. He's roaming around us all wimbly dimbly like. Yeah, wolves can mess you guys up too, so uh, be careful about that. Villagers are idle. Uh-oh, why isn't anybody building this meow? Who's, oh, Gregor's doing that. Okay, so there's our little house. Oh, too much. And there's our little beds in there. So that is absolutely glorious. We've chopped down all the trees. So what do we do next? Well, storage barn, of course. Why not? It must be done. Hey, you know what? I think I do kind of want to build my uh, my first storage storage warehouse into the side of this here mountain. So we're going to dig out just a little bit of it. And uh, of course, you know, then probably deconstruct this stuff here. And we'll maybe eventually deconstruct that cruddy little house too as we get rocking and rolling here. But it is coming to nighttime, so that may be a, uh, uh, oh, a uh, task for tomorrow. You guys can see down here, they keep mangling the resources. That's because they have a really low skill level, and uh, you'll also notice sometimes that construction fails. See, mind resources mangled. That means we don't get anything, or we get less of them. Um, but not good, not great. Um, so that's just kind of something we gotta deal with. Hour 20, and uh, we'll just kinda, they're about to be on their leisure time. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yeah, they're in their leisure time right now. So let's just let them do whatever they want and uh, progress on through into the morning. I'm going to plan out this little warehouse that I want to do really quick. There we go. That's a beautiful little storage storage shed or warehouse right there, I guess. Now, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different this playthrough. I'm going to be uh, prioritizing digging out and getting a bunch of clay early on because clay has really good insulating properties. So here come winter time. Uh, it gets really stinking cold and your guys can and definitely will pass out due to the cold. Oh, great. Yeah, they left the door wide open. Look at them. You can see them sleeping in there. That's not weird. Clay will help insulate the uh, your guys's houses and stuff like that. So your guys aren't getting frostbite and uh, dying and getting knocked over in their own uh, sleeping zones and stuff, because that would just be basically pretty no bueno. And uh, nobody wants that. It's not a, it's not a beautiful thing. It happened to me. Almost lost like two guys on my last little playthrough and such, and uh, I just don't want to see it happen to you folks. No, I definitely don't. I also noticed a couple like random little piles of stuff. Like these are clay piles right here. They're forbidden. What you want to do is just allow, and you can click on those, and people will kind of bring them. I'll go off and pick them up whenever they're on their hauling, hauling mode. But right, meow, baby. Oh, we're digging. Look at him. Look at him go. You go, Garfield. You shovel that clay. Oh yeah, look at that clay pile. Ooh. That's only two clay right there. That's not a lot of clay. Come on, Garfield, get it together. 
Also a nice handy thing you guys can see in the top right corner there, it shows me the uh, the temperature so I can see, you know, it's uh, what 59.5 degrees Fahrenheit out there. Now it starts in centigrade, but if you want, go to options game, you can come here and swap over from Celsius, Kelvin. Nobody's gonna pick Kelvin. Who's gonna pick Kelvin? All right, if you pick Kelvin, let me know in the comments because I wanna, I wanna call you weird. I don't even know what Kelvin, let's just look at Kelvin. What is that? Ow, wow, 288 degrees, Kelvin. That just sounds bad. That's why nobody uses Kelvin. God, what a thing. We're going back to Fahrenheit. God, screw that. That is terrible. Oh, God, it's hot. All right, our storage zone is complete. So we're going to go ahead and just make that a default stockpile. And we're going to go ahead and just deconstruct this stockpile and then also deconstruct this wooden floor. There we go. So I should be moving everything into our nice new house there. So I'm going to pause really quick. Take a look. Seven days, eight hours. Okay. For the cabbage pile. We're going to follow that cabbage pile. Oh, they, they're focusing on deconstructing more so than moving stuff. That's good. That's what you want. Maybe I should have, should have waited on that. Eh, well, what happened, happened. And we may end up making another little tiny or not tiny, but you know, at least a decent size stockpile outside to hold all this clay we're, we're going to be stinking getting. Uh, for, but for right now, I just kind of got everything in here. Come on, grab the grab the cabbage. I want to see it. Nine day, one hour. Oh, he's sleeping now. Gregor, I counted on you. You were the chosen one. This guy, look at Lota. Lota, whatever her name is. Uh, Lata? I don't know. Champion. Champion. Digging into the night. Girl, you go. You go, girl. Now, as you guys can see here, it has the decompose and the rot. So it rots and goes bad first and then decomposes, right? But uh, because of ground type and temperature, up, oh, moved it. And now we're at five days, four hours. Well, that doesn't make a lick of sense. It was better outside. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to say, I'm going to say it's Kelvin's fault. Yeah, it's Kelvin's fault because of temperature inside of spare room. Oh, well, it's the same degree. Oh, well, it's a little hotter inside the room. So I guess that makes a difference. Ah. Who knew? See, that's why we want to sell her for food, but it will keep it out of the, the weather. So you see the hit points right there, 49 out of 50. If we kept that outside, those hit points would go down and it would eventually become uh, become busted. So digging a cellar may want to be one of the next things we do, but the absolute next thing we want to do at this point, in my humble opinion, is to build kind of a little archer tower because we are going to get attacked. It is going to be soon. And uh, we definitely want to be ready for it. So it doesn't have to be anything too crazy. It can be just a nice little, uh, little something like this. This might even be too much, you know what I'm saying? With a little bit of a stair. So right now we got a little tower with a little corridor here. And then you can come to the defenses or sorry, warfare tab and do spiked traps, which just takes some sticks. And uh, when the enemies walk over that, it's going to do a little bit of damage to them, which is going to be great. So, uh, you know, our archers can sit up here. We can have our melee due to the top of the stairs and the enemies will just kind of funnel into this little kill zone, basically, and uh, get hit by the traps, get shot by our stinking master archers. Look at that. Look at that. 21 marksmen. Oh, God, it's beautiful. Oh, I love it. That was good old Gregor Marchmain. Also, too, guys, like I said, I can rename these cats. So if y'all are feeling froggy and you want me to name one of these cats after you guys, let me know in the comments. It'll be a first come, first serve basis. Whoever wants to be named after one of my humble villagers, let your old Papa Chitta know and I will make it happen. Construction failed. Loda. All right, someone, you know, don't become Loda. She's, well, she tries hard. She was digging through the night. She's all right. But yeah, let me know. I'll uh, totally put you guys in this here game and everything because I do love you so but <clears throat> I can't promise you that I won't get you killed. Yep, I'm, uh, I'm not going to make that promise because it might happen. You know, we'll uh, we'll just kind of have to play and see. Yeah, I sure will. This is coming along great. And once this archer tower is done, we'll uh, have a couple of cats start digging down into making a new cellar, kind of. It's, uh, it's kind of unfortunate that this hill is so curved like that. We're going to need to dig out a sizable chunk to really do anything super cool with. Um, cause I mean, shoot, I don't want them all to look kind of like this, just aw awkwardly placed into the side of this here hill, but you know what? We might be able to make that dope. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, uh, we'll stink and see. Another thing I'm going to do right now is make a new stockpile for just clay stuff and, uh, and outside things. So here we're going to do not apparel, not carcasses, not food, not textiles, warfare, waste, or books, just material. And we're going to go into this a little bit more and start selecting stuff that we 
don't want in our pile, which is going to be all of the things that can break down. So we're keeping the clay, limestone, silver, gold, stuff like that. We're going to not bring sticks, wood, coal in here either or mechanical components. So this will just be for kind of your clays, your stones, your, your ores, your bricks, stuff like that. Everything else is going to stay inside in the, uh, the other one. And now we do also have to go into here and, uh, take these out so everything we just did so the clay bricks limestone let's see silver gold nuggies ingots and we can just kind of click back and forth between the two make sure we got everything oh clay ah there we go and hey let's see yep that looks good so they should move all these and that'll help free up a lot of room in here so yeah there we go so these are going to stay nice and healthy not get beaten down by the or the rain or anything and uh everything else will just stay nice and uh nice and toasty warm inside i'm gonna go around the immediate vicinity and just kind of say it's okay to pick some of this stuff up as well too so that way we can kind of get it uh going if anybody's feeling froggy doesn't have anything to do they can go and just uh, start hauling stuff also too i almost forgot a nice little campfire so this is gonna be uh you really clutch it's gonna be definitely good to have you're gonna want that uh, early on so you can kind of make better better food stuffs which uh, i've been neglecting i'm just so dang focused on uh getting all these other things ready to rocking and rolling you know what i'm saying and our berries are looking ready oh let's harvest that let's harvest these shrooms shrooms and you can of course come in here and see when they're uh, mature they're ready to rock and roll and stuff like that as well ah look at that our beautiful little archer tower with our Nice little spike traps. You can see the spikes laying in wait underneath of this thing too. Oh yeah, look at look at those spikes. Yep, oh, deadly, deadly spikes. Ready to pounce. Ah, keep pausing it. There we go. Ha ha, marvelous. Another thing you gotta make sure you're paying attention to is the mood of our guys. You can see, uh, oh, so this guy ate raw food. So that's why we want this cooking spot. And uh, we gotta make the production. Uh, we're gonna do forever for now edit and uh, you can kind of come through here and you know what kind of fuel do you want to use what kind of stuff do you want to cook do you want to eat human meat <laughs> rotten meat vegetable rot i mean it's a good thing those things are probably uh, left unchecked uh but yeah so you can do that with all kinds of good stuff and look at that there we go we got our stew pile and galfred is our cooker yep number one cooker in all the land oh i love it he's a good man he's a good good man i'm gonna get loaded to actually prioritize hauling some stuff since we don't have much construction going on at the moment and we might want to get old gregor there out on the prowl for some hunting game because that is going to be clutch looks like we got a bunch of bones up here what why do we have a bunch of bones up here oh that's creepy i haven't seen that before Ooh, maybe we don't want to go up here this is oh i gotta stop pausing it this ah gotta stop pausing it i'm trying to do like the jump from other games you know you you hit space bar and you go up but uh that's not the case why is it uh why are there bones up here that's me really worried I'm freaking out guys I'm freaking out oh and look at that giant deposits of coal so, yeah we don't want to build on top of this because we want to mine that that is a great stinking resource a great find and i guess we could go and kill this wolf shoot where's the wolf oh god where's the wolf where's the wolf? oh there's the wolf okay so he's uh oh and there's some deers Kind of moving in on our territory, our turf right meow. Um, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to slow things down just a hair. So Gregor, I'm going to deputize him. I'm going to draft him into the armed services here. And you're going to come and take out this wolf for us. There you go. Come on, Gregor. I believe in you. And you know what? We're actually going to uh, deputize her as well and take out the wolf. I got our two archer dudes right here. Okay, let's see how they perform. He's like shooting into the side of the, the ground there. What are you doing, Gregor? Come on. Running away. Okay, come on. You're supposed to be the master archer. And when you guys get attacked to this horn right here, all I did was I clicked on him, hit the old draft horn, and that's what you're going to want to do when you get attacked. Come on, guys. Get it together. Get it together. Get this stinking guy. Oh. Nope, nope. Kill the wolf. There it is. How can you miss that shot? He's five feet away. He's literally five feet away. Oh, God. Okay, come on. You guys can do this. Stop missing. Oh, God. Gregor's going to die. Nope, he's good. Hey, there we go. Okay, and then we're going to de-deputize him. 
and Gregor, I believe you had the extremely high handling. Yes, of course. And haul that to the stockpile. And Loda, you just go ahead and do your thing. There we go. Taking care of the wolf threat. And that's how we're going to defeat the bandits as well when they come. Sept Archer is going to be posted up top here in our beautiful, beautiful, uh, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. The, the thing, right? Shoot, our tower, Archer Tower. Boom. All right, so what I'm doing meow is I'm just kind of making a little uh, little shanty house right here. Oops, he can't do that because we don't have the uh, we don't have anything supporting that beam there. So what we're gonna have to do is if we drag it like that, we can rotate it while it's still on uh, on top there. You see what I'm saying? Whoop! Ooh, there we go. So I get for rotating the camera as I try and do this. I drag it out funny. So can't do it and can do it. So there we go. And we're going to put in the basic research table. Of course, rotate that bad boy into place. So because it's going to take a while for us to dig out this uh, this here mountain to make it kind of, uh, you know, how we want to do it and everything, I figure we might as well just make another cruddy little offshoot building, you know, and just a little research shack so we can kind of get rocking and rolling on everything, get our farming up and going as well, which, you know what? It looks like some pretty solid grounds up at the top of the here mountain. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but we're also going to need defenses up here at the top as well because enemies can come from pretty much any stinking direction that they want to. It's it's uh, it's good stuff. It's good. It's great. And it looks like we're running low on hay, which means I got to go ahead and allow them to chop up some of this stuff here. And we unlocked the research panel. So this here, um, essentially how it works. Da -da 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 -da. Let me scroll down. There we go. So they got these things, these chronicles, right? These chronicles and stuff that you produce at the research table. Um, so your worker will come here. They'll produce these chronicles, which will tell them to do it forever, of course. And you come up here and you see you have an available amount and everything costs something. So whereas agriculture right here, it'll cost 15. We have the 25 available. So uh, we should up. Oh. Here we go. Well, sorry, that, that gets interrupted here. So we're getting our newest settler. So old Katarina raved about religion, torture, and escape. And she was confused. We want to give her refuge, which means... Uh, so inhabitants decided to help her. Jeez, can't say that. So we can kind of preview their stats. Pretty good smith, stuff like that. Um, we're going to take her anyway, but this is... Uh, it'll possibly get an attack. And you can see right there, two-third coming pillagers. Or we can tell her no, and we get kind of a bad... Penalty boost. We're going to help her, of course. So here comes Katarina coming down the line. Yeah, and she's wounded right there. You can see it whipped back. It's serious. So that's no good. She needs to convalesce. And I'm going to pause. Just well, We'll just knock it down. And we're going to build another bed. We're actually going to do two more beds just because it's going to be good to have. And uh, Katarina is going to be convalescing, which, uh, as I said before, is uh, healing. So you can see it right there. She was wounded. Now she's healing herself. And we got to go ahead and assign her all this other good stuff, jobs and schedules and whatnot, as she heals. It looks like old Gregor here. He's going to be tending to her wounds. What a good chap. Let's see, uh, let's see how he fares. Oh, come on. It's serious. Heal her, Gregor. Heal her. I believe in you. You can do it. At least she's not hungry. Hey, you know, that's good. And she's well rested. You know what? That glass is half full right there. Gregor right here doing a solid job. Oh, Gregor, my dude. Oh, good man. Wounds tended. It's still serious, though. But that's all right. You know what? She'll uh, she'll get better as the days go on. She's actually a much better cook than homeboy here. So we're going to knock him down and bring her up and we'll have her help out with the mining and the uh, uh, the constructing or not constructing. Sorry, the growing, the botany and stuff like that. Once she's all better ready to go and everything like that oh look at that how fortuitous we have deers right here baby we're just gonna go ahead and mark a couple of these bad boys for execution oh yes and here comes old gregor he's got his mighty longbow out here he goes he's gonna line up the shot oh hang on i gotta get a screenshot of this oh that's beautiful that's beautiful okay let's get going hey and look at that enemies are coming i was saying we have a research available which is architecture we're going to go ahead and unlock that bad boy. Uh, sorry, I forgot about that. And now we just got to get five more and we can get agriculture. Both architecture, we unlock the wooden beam, which is going to be a good help in uh, making us build things. So you remember how just moments ago uh, right here, we couldn't do this roof. Um, this roof right here oriented the same way because we did not have any support. So what we can do is just kind of put a beam between these two walls here. So we could have taken our beam like that and uh, just kind of, oh, oh, can I? 
Can I? Oh, come on. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Right, let's get in there. Da, 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 da. Ah, there we go. <laughs> kind of like that. If you guys can see what I'm getting at. And we, then we could have braced our, uh, our, our roof against that kind of thing, basically. Is, is, is how it works. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he did not get the deer. Oh, you poor guy. Yeah, we got too late and he got hungry. He got hungry. He failed, but that's all right. I don't blame you, Gregor. You're doing a fine job. You're doing a fine stinking job. All right, guys, so we're beginning to dig into the mountainside here to start and prepare for our grand adventure. And as you guys can see, I got some staircases just to kind of help our boys access, uh, our boys and girls access the higher regions as we are going to be taking out some of these ramps and such like that. Um, but you know what? No worries. No worries. Everything's going pretty, uh, pretty groovily. Is she still wounded? Katarina, you got to rest, girl. OK, it's just we're down to moderate, so that's not too bad. Oh, you know what I forgot to do with her was uh, was manage her. So let's see, meow. Okay, so we're gonna give her a two-handed weapon, uh, all headgear and all armor, and that should kind of take care of itself. But before the enemies come, we're going to want her to uh, kind of pick up that one wooden wooden sword or wooden sword. Sorry, rather this uh, this sturdy wooden spear. And uh, oh god, look at that! Still need the deer carcass, which uh, we do need a butchering table for, which would be a good thing to build right now. Because we just have a deer carcass just kind of chilling off in our thing. So, Katarina, you come here and you equip that wooden spear. And then I believe who is our chef here? Da, 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 da. She's the chef. So once she gets that, she can butcher the stinking deer. And, uh, nope, nope, nope. Come here. Come here, girl. Oh, actually, that's right. We need to build this first. Build the table. Come on, Katarina. I believe in you. And shoot, here once this gets dug out too, we'll probably dig down a layer or two and uh, start start getting our cellar going. Then we can just kind of build the main house off of this. And uh, what is kind of, if you want to like min max and everything like that, you can kind of, uh, it'd probably be best to put the cellar attached to the kitchen, kitchen attached to the dining area, and the dining area attached to the bedrooms. And uh, also to another good thing right here, show overlay of rooms detected. So if you click that, you can see there's all these different kinds of colors. So in different uh, legends right here, we have a kitchen, workshop, library, churches, uh, bedrooms. So these are going to tell you what you need to basically designate things as rooms. So you can see here spare room. We have a couple of those. And that just means it's a minimum grid one space area. We got a blue right there. What is the blue? Well, that's a shared bedroom. So it must have at least two times wooden hay bed or hay sleeping spots. Then we can get into a single bedroom where it's just a room with one bed. And of course, workshops where you need some stuff on some shelves and, uh, you know, one table of each. And that's going to increase your efficiency. Oh, look at that light ray right there. Oh, it's glorious. The fingers of heaven descending upon our beautiful village. But yeah, so uh, let's say this butcher's table, if it's in a kitchen, it's going to operate like 30 or 40 percent more efficient. So it'll be at 130 or 140, something like that. It'll be better than what it's at right now, which uh, is currently 50 because it's outside in the rain. So not operating great. And uh, Katarina, we want you to do that dear baby girl. And I'm going to hide this meow. Although we'll uh, we'll let her get back with her thing. Now, that's what I did. I forgot to set this to uh, to a thing forever. Aha. Prioritize production. There you go. Get that stinking deer. Get us some grub because we are running low on food, baby girl. You got to get that going on. Well, the enemies are about to be coming imminently. Oh, and here we go. The violent extortionists of uh, salvation. They've come for Katarina, so we can either refuse them and we will, uh, they'll attack. We're getting three of them, meow. Okay, uh, roughly, roughly three of them. That's what the little squiggle means. So it could be more, could be less. We'll see. Uh, and then we get a mood modifier for helping, or we give Katarina back and we get a negative one. So we're going to help Katarina because we've grown attached to her. She's our cook. We stood our ground, refused to give them their demands. And now we take up arms. There they are. Let's pause it. Let's see what we're looking at. We've got three barbarian raiders. Hey, that's a nice helmet. Nice. We got three raiders right there. And won't you know it, they're right towards our our little uh, defense tower here. So what we want to do, we want to gather everybody, draft them to the war effort. Now we're going to head and just bring them down here. Come on, move it. Oh, that's right. We can't fast speed during the raid. We can only do two. So Loda. See, now, uh, Gregor was the number one honcho. Put her up there. Gregor, you're going to take point right here. Gilfred, you're going to go there. And Katarina, 
you're going to kind of poke them from the side. So everybody, come on, Katarina. You can do it. There you go. Move your buns, girl. Move your buns. And this is a perfect defensible position. Although, uh, Gif, Gifford, Gafford, whatever your name is. There you go. Face the other way. Another thing you could do, too, is put a little door right down here kind of thing. But that could potentially dissuade them from, uh, from coming. And uh, we may actually have to go and uh, kite these guys over because they will attack our stuff if we're not paying attention and careful. You'll see them going straight for stockpiles, but we're going to shoot at them, which is going to draw their aggro and make them want to come and kill us. So here we go. A great, great raid of Chidaria. Okay, and uh, Loda, I'm going to move you to the flanking spot. Up, oh, hey, but that's victory. Gregor, the bravest of the settlers. Of course, everybody kill that guy. Kill that guy. Come on, you can do it. There it is. All right. Go ahead and undraft them from the cause. I'm going to do a grand pickup of everything so that will get these guys a little bit of armor. And we can kind of come in here and min max. You can see uh, the different cover amounts. Is that better than Homeboy's shield right here? 20%. So yeah, that's a, that's a better shield. Better armor, better weapon, 3.16 DPS. His is a 5.07 base, so no, that's not better. Two hand, 4.4, .4, and Katarina is 3.66. So yeah, she's going to want to pick that up. There were no bows or anything like that. And then the armor and clothes will be divvied up as uh, as seen fit. So I'm going to go ahead and assign them to kind of do that stuff. So Katarina, you, uh, oh, she needs a melee skill of 10, which she does not have. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, but maybe uh, we'll get a uh, old homeboy here to equip the shield and we'll just kind of let everybody else pick up what gear they want and uh let that be that and we're gonna go ahead and end that there for the day guys thank you so much for joining us on our first little bandit raid our little little homestead is coming along nicely i'm looking forward to this, this is a really nice spot and uh hopefully there was some good little uh tips and tricks in there for you maybe you guys learned something you know maybe i didn't do something that you guys know that you could let me know that would be also quite outstanding so, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next one. If you did enjoy this, please feel free to like and subscribe the video. Your old Papa Cheddar will absolutely love you for it, even though I'll love you forever regardless. And, okay, I thought she was naked for a second. Now she looks cool like a warrior princess. Anywho, all right, guys, I've wasted enough of your time already. So uh, go ahead and, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. And as always, I love you. Bye.